Welcome to Lamis.com in a lab video series on Cisco 9800 Wireless LAN Controller. This is Matha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of the 9800 controller videos, you can visit our website under the wireless section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. First of all, I would like to welcome you guys to yet another Lab Minutes video series. I must say that it has been a while since our last wireless video series, and that was back in the early version of AirOS A.X. Since then, there hasn't really been a major change to Cisco Wireless Controller or product other than the new controller product line of the 3504, the 5520, and the 8500s, and the AC Wave 2 APs. I guess there was also the whole converged access architecture that was very short-lived. But other than that, AROS has been pretty much working the same way for the past decade, and that is until now. With the next generation wireless of 802.11ax, or Wi-Fi 6 as we know it, it is time for Cisco to do another refresh of their entire wireless product line. But this time it is very different. Cisco has decided to rewrite their wireless controller code altogether on what has pretty much become Cisco's standard operating system, which is iOS XE, and now... The next generation of Cisco Wireless LAN controller is called the Catalyst 9800, which is our topic of this video series. In this video, we are going to give you a quick introduction of the Cisco 9800 controller and any currently available product in its product family, and this is including the new access points. I am not going to go into great detail because that's what the data sheets are for, but this should give you enough information for you to continue with our video series. With that said, this should be a fairly short video, so let's get started on that. First, let's take a look at the wireless LAN controller. Like I mentioned, all of the controllers now are part of the Catalyst 9800 product family. Like its predecessor, they are physical and the virtual version of the appliances, as you can see in this diagram right here. For the physical appliances, the smallest box or form factor that you have is the 9800-L. Right, this is a half rack width, very similar to what the 2504 and 3504 looks like. Right, if you have played with one of those, you can see that it has uh, pretty much the same physical form factor here. It comes with four 2.5 multi-gig ports, right, copper, and two 10-gig ports. And you have an option of the copper, which will be in the form of the multi-gig also, or the fiber, as you can see right there. Every time you see a Ethernet port that has a blue tag or blue color like that, usually it's uh, indicative of a multi-gig port. Right? And then the yellow ones up here, that's the 10-gig fiber. In terms of capacity of support, up to 250 access point and 5,000 clients with the maximum of 5 gig throughput. So even with a small box like this, you can still have a pretty decent size of a wireless deployment. Again, 250 access points. And like I said, there's a copper and the fiber models of that. So depending on which ones you want, just make sure you pick the right part number. All right, C for copper and F is for fiber. The next, which is considered a medium size controller, is the 9800-40. Right, and this comes in the 1U form factor with four 1 gig, 10 gig SFP plus fixed port, which is right here. So you just have to select the appropriate transceiver to get the speed that you want. In terms of capacity, it supports up to 2000 access points. So it's a big upgrade from the 9800L, right, from 250 to 2000, and then up to 32,000 clients with the max capacity or throughput of 40 gig. Right, so pretty good box for a medium-sized deployment in the enterprise, campus buildings and such. And then for a large deployment, you have the option to go with the 